Today was the day that we lost the Jack to y'all known as the Jacker. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real. Get rid of the fake, the effie to the industry. How do you do that? Subscribe. Then follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. One word I do follow back, like pictures and all that. Seti Nash, what's up with the visionaries? So, you know, the jacket was killed today, was shot. There's, there's, there's many stories of what happened and everything like that. And I'm not going to discuss any of them. I think we got to remember how people lived and what we celebrate them for, right? So, knowing that let me put it this way, right? If you go down and you scroll my videos and stuff like that, you'll see Seti Nash at the Silk Bar, right? Silk Bar was a, a, a club in Sacramento where you could go perform and stuff like that. And Jacket was up there all the time collecting that bag. You feel me? And <laughs> I remember I got off the stage. I performed this song. It's called You're a Bitch. <laughs> and it's a, it was a dope song. I got to find my old engineer and see if he got that song. But... I remember Jack like messing with it and stuff like that and he basically was like yeah bro that's what's up and I was like trying to get him to get on the remix and stuff like that because I felt like yo he get on that it's gonna be nuts but Jack and Hustler AP9 the mob figures and all that was one of those groups who you know were helped co-founded by Sibo. Uh, you know, Garden Block, 29th Street Crip, rapper, Tupac's favorite rapper, Sebo. And when they came out, bro, they got a song called My 15th Birthday. <laughs> and it's dope, bro. Like, where I'm from in Sac, like, we, we slap Hustler and we slap Jacket, bro. That was our, that was, you know, a messy Marv too, heavy. But the Jacket was able to carve out his own. Uh, his own what's the name his own lane he dropped a mixtape called tear gas bro and it was dope and I remember him coming out with Aspen and stuff like that in there I know you ain't now nah, you know what I mean I can't remember what it's called bro but he Jack was different man and Jack had a, how can we say it the right way? Jack had a young spirit no matter how old he was getting. Like, it was like he was going to be able to be like E-40 to keep on doing this well off into his 50s. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get a chance to listen to like Devil Rejects and stuff like that, he got a dope song with T-Nutty and AP9. And Hustler called Hustle in the Rain. Song Fire. His very last song that they got on Thizzler. That. <laughs> Don't stay outside too late. Like, bro, that right there, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe because it's his last song that they did a video for. That, like, that's why that became my favorite jacket song. But, bro, if you got a chance to, man, pay some homage, some honor, some respect to the jacket man if you can get a chance to do that bro dope individual with the wordplay and stuff like that and you'll see how stuff used to be when we used to record be a couple of homies stand still camera on the block big ass hats that go over your eyebrows and stuff like that with the tall tees and all that you know <laughs> to getting up there and progressing, bro, it's it's dope, man. It's it's dope. It's timeless. It's classic, man. Shout out to the Jack, bro. You expect me to keep it real? Cause you know that I will. I do this daily, man.